Hey everybody, my name is Nozibele Gamganemayaba. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, um, we're really excited because we are off to see mommy um, in Port Elizabeth, mommy and the rest of the family. We haven't seen them since, was it May? Yeah, since my dad's funeral. And obviously that was quick. That was in and out because of all the regulations um, relating to the COVID-19 pandemic. And now that the, you know, the regulations are lifted and um, we can travel to go see our families, obviously still, you know, practicing all the precautions, the measurements that have been put into place. Um, but I'm really, really excited that I'm going to see her. And there are a couple of things that we're going to do there. Um, I can't wait for you to see them. We've been planning this for quite some time. And yeah, so tonight I'm just going to basically um, try and fix our luggage. We are only going for like two nights. But <laughs> if you had to see my luggage, it doesn't say two nights. Okay. So um, I just want to be prepared. And um, I know PE weather changes like five times a day. So I am in between warm um cold in between i just want to be prepared so anyway guys join me as i pack um i'm specifically packing while school is downstairs because um i bought some new stuff and i don't want him to see it um particularly shoes i don't want him to see them and the reason why um he's not gonna notice is because i'm gonna hide them like in between my clothes and then the trick is that i am going to tell them that i've had them for quite some time so like that's free advice ladies that's free like yeah advice that you can try and some strategies that you can try in hiding yeah your clothes um to your partners because they're always in our business yeah we're buying too many clothes a girl can never have too many clothes we have too many shoes a girl can never have too many shoes okay so join me guys as i do this now ladies i am always asked where do i stash all the new stuff i'm gonna show you a trick so he barely touches this part in any case this is my like wardrobe he has his own one in the other room so this one is mine and I stash all my stuff here. So this is where I hide most of my stuff um, that I buy new that I don't want him to see. Um, so listen, you know damn well, okay? It must be a secret stash, somewhere very dodgy, somewhere you're not even supposed to be when you get out of the black bag okay so i bought these shoes at small street mall okay oh look at this oh my god okay this is small street mall i got it for 200 runs look at that oh my gosh look at that Okay, I've got these ones as well. I'll show you. Okay, from first glance, they look really plain. They look gold. I like the heel as well. These were also 200 rand, by the way. But look at what really drove me to buy this shoe. Look at that. R. Mowart. Look at that. Ah, isn't that pretty? I love this. This was also 200 Rand, guys, from Small Street. Small Street Mall. Look at my babies. Oh my God. Okay, now I need to stash them because they cannot be seen. These ones I'm going to wait tomorrow. I'm going to show you my outfit for tomorrow. So this is my outfit for tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yeah, so I'm wearing my new shoes and then I got these beautiful earrings from Mr. Price. And they were like 40 rand. 
quite affordable and this nice dress i got it from mr price as well i think it was 189 rand so almost 200 rand which was also quite nice and affordable yeah guys Yes, I am home. Yes, I am home. <laughs> I'm 
to Rustenburg. Um, we literally we landed and I had to sign some books. I had about 30 orders um, that came through um, and I had to sign them off and quickly send them to the couriers. I did wash. I did, I did take a shower before we left. You didn't take a shower. You didn't take a shower. I have many towels. I used yours. Um, so I signed some books, sent them to the couriers, changed our luggage, put new clothes, and we were on the road right after that. Um, so yeah, we on, we're in Rustenburg now. There's an event that we are um, attending. Um, yeah, it's a woman's event. And you're a guest speaker. And I'm a guest speaker. Um, is here. And my Shava is here. Scott is driving me. So I'm speaking um, along the likes of uh, No Mangoma, Crisalda Kananda, Mapaseka. So I'm really excited. Mapaseka. Mapaseka. I'm Mapaseka. Why are you rude? Anyway, Mapasek. I did say that. So yeah. It's Criselda. I'll take a few shots. I'll t no, can no, you no. please? I'll take a few shots of the event and um, I'll share it with you guys. It's been a long week, guys. Um, I'm just hoping that I'll be able to rest at least on Sunday before I go back to work. So join us. journey because can you can you imagine myself being so raw and blaming everyone else and having met to school I would have redirected all that energy to him and make him pay for something he knows nothing about so I'm so grateful that it took me so long to work on myself to prepare me for him so do not be discouraged about the journey that you're in some, it takes longer. There's no end time. There's no final destination. Every day, I, I need to wake up and reassure myself, you're going to be fine, you are fine. I look at the journey that I've traveled and I say to myself, girl, you have, like, I am proud of you. Because when I was in my room, um, taking about five art cuddles every night, wanting to die, I did not think that I was going to make it. So ladies, as I'm concluding, I'm going to say once again 
We're faced with so many different things. Things that threaten to, to shake our entire existence. Things that make us wonder, will we ever be the same again? I'm going to tell you now, I'm still the same person. I'm still close. I will never ever give the virus that lives inside of me the power. Everyone says, yo, but you make it easy. And I'm like, I don't make it easy. It's not easy. The, the, the daily reminder of having to take a pill, it's not easy. But at the same time, there's so much to live for. There's so much to live for. There's so much to live for. And I will not let uh, myself dwell in so much pity. So ladies, my name is Nozibele Kamga. I'm HIV positive, but I am still me. Yes. Each one of you is going to get a book. May you find parts of yourself in this book. May you find parts of yourself in this book.